As this video is about multiple database migration using Spring Boot, I'm using the project which I have used for the multiple database connections. I'll provide the link in the description. It is better to go through that video. Before this video, to enable the Flyway migration, what I have done is I have added two dependencies here, the Flyway core dependency and the Flyway MySQL dependency. This is because I am using MariaDB as the primary database which requires this dependency. The secondary database I have is Oracle but Flyway doesn't need any dependency for that. Apart from this, I have added the db migration folder and within this db migration folder i have created separate database migrations for mariadb and oracle here you can see the creation of user detail in the primary database and insertion of two entries also creation of restaurant table in the secondary database and two entries in the restaurant i have not made any other changes before starting the server let me just delete these two tables from the database, user detail from the primary and restroom from the secondary. Let's go back here and try and run the application and see how does it behave. The default behavior of Flyway is it is enabled and hence I have not made any changes in the application or properties you can see here but the application has failed. The reason behind this is the Flyway initializer has found two files with the same version name here within the MariaDB folder and the Oracle folder which means Flyway initializer picks up all the files which are present in the migration folder here here during the migration process. So what I'm going to do is let me just change the versions and see how does it behave this to v3 and this to p4 let's try and run and see run fails and the reason is you can see the flyway initializer has connected to mariadb server and it is trying to execute the file for oracle with these two observations we can conclude the following information the first point what we have seen is flyway initializer loads all the sql files present in the db migration folder and the second thing what we have seen is the database connection that is happening in the flyway by default is the primary data source connection so with these two information what we can conclude is flyway initializer is trying to connect to primary data source and trying to execute all the files which are present in the migration folder now let we need to make sure that only the mariadb files are being executed because mariadb is our primary data source and for that reason what we can do is we have to set this property spring.flyway.locations to the mariadb's class path let's do that locations equals class path this one let's run the application run as spring boot let's check the database f5 you can see the data migration for the primary database is successful the secondary database has no change in it this is because the flyway hasn't connected to the secondary data source and there is no migration taking place for the secondary data source let's delete this and make some changes so that we can connect to both primary and the secondary data source okay. so for this what i'm going to do is i'll add a property flyway dot secondary dot locations and this will be locations the migration to the secondary database has to be done by ourselves and that can be done by defining a method with post construct secondary migration and in this method what i'm going to do is flyway dot configure dot locations use locations dot load dot 
migrate also i need to specify the data source dot data source i'll use the url username password since i have already specified here and because we have added the secondary locations we also need to define what is the path for the secondary location our path is db migration oracle let me add this here equals just copy this oracle and i would like to change these back to v1 and v2 because now that the primary data source migration takes place by reading only the files which are present in MariaDB. The versioning of the SQL files in Oracle directory doesn't affect the migration of the MariaDB and that's the reason we can have more than one file with the same version now. Post construct helps this method to be executed once all the beans are created by the container. Let me see if I have deleted. Yes and nothing is here. Let's try to run it. Successful. Let's see first the primary database. Yes, the user is created and the entries for the user are also created. And in Oracle database here, yeah, restaurant is created and the entries for restaurant are also created. With this simple configuration, we were able to migrate multiple databases in Flyway. But if you see here, what I have done here is I have added the post construct within the database connection class. But this is not a good practice and it is better to move everything into a separate class. So what I'm going to do is delete this, delete, remove this as well. So what I have done here is I have created secondary database migration class. I have commented all these stuff so that this configuration doesn't execute here. And you can see I am connecting to the secondary data source locations and secondary data source. Let's delete the tables. Delete. And start the server run you can see the tables are created and the entries are also created here delete again what if i want to add my own code for the primary database migration as well which means I should disable the flyway migration to do so what we can do is we have to disable this enable this false now since the flyway migration doesn't take place by default we need to specify the migration for the primary database as well primary and to do so what i have done is i have added the primary database migration as well removing this so it looks same as that of the secondary database migration the only thing is we are using the primary data source connections and the location is from the primary locations let's see if this works out we're started successfully you see here the migration is successful so these are some of the ways for multiple database migrations using flyway make sure to subscribe the channel and thank you for watching